So what's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked to child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserve to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planning lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new mollus, sort of a super mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA, and he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond, of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man. All right. Fuck it. I got you. I thought that you would. Now, consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm going to make the investment, but we don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. Hi guys, Mr. Judge UK here, bringing you some more GTA 5 gameplay. This is Lester's first side mission, it's called Hotel Assassination. Um, you can make a lot of money from this if you do it right. If you invest in beta pharmaceuticals, you will make about 80% profit if you put a shit ton of money in there. So basically it's worth putting everything you have into that company um, because you're basically assassinating the rival leader. So, of that company, uh, of beta, beta Pharmaceuticals rival. So, they, their stocks will go down and Beta Pharmaceuticals will go up and you'll make 8 cent profit. So, it is worth doing if you want to make a shit ton of money fast. Um, you can do this for every single one of Lester's missions. Uh, just listen to the hints that he's given you in the cutscenes. And if you don't necessarily get the hints of what he's saying, just look up online and you'll be able to do it that way. So it's basically easy making some easy cash and a lot of it quickly. So it's worth doing. Um, and enjoy the video guys and I'll catch you at the end. Let's move it out people! We need this area cleared!
Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment and subscribe, I will be posting some more GTA 5 gameplay soon, because I have a shit ton of it, I've got about 15 hours worth, so <laughs> I need to get freaking editing, so I'll catch you guys in the next one, and hope you guys are enjoying GTA 5 as much as me, and looking forward to GTA Online tomorrow, so enjoy guys. Terminated.